Hi, this is Scott from Consolidated Sterilizer Systems, here to talk about seven common autoclave problems that you should be aware of and how to identify them. Let's get started. Problem number one, the sterilizer won't reach the temperature set point. There are a few reasons why this might happen. Perhaps the power source for the steam generator isn't turned on, or the steam generator may need repair. Another option is that there's a clog in the chamber drain preventing air from escaping the chamber and the steam from reaching the correct pressure and temperature. Or the temperature the user has entered exceeds the autoclave's maximum temperature allowance. Problem number two, the load is damaged by the autoclave. Autoclaves run at very high temperatures, which is why it's important to ensure that any items loaded into a sterilizer are autoclave safe. Most laboratory equipment will say whether it's autoclave safe or list its melting point. A melted load can damage a sterilizer, so it's especially important to train autoclave users to be careful about what they load into the machine. Another common issue is liquid loss, either in the form of evaporation or boil over. The best way to avoid this problem is to run a specialized liquid cycle that releases the chamber pressure slowly instead of all at once. Burned sugars are another common way for loads to be damaged by an autoclave. The best way to avoid this issue is to simultaneously increase the length of a sterilization cycle and decrease the temperature, or to use a load probe. Problem number three, the goods are not properly sterilized. Improperly sterilized goods can lead to contamination, growth in the media, or a failed biological indicator. Improper loading, steam dryness, component failure, and insufficient steam are just some of the reasons why a sterilizer may not sterilize a load. The best way to ensure proper sterilization is to validate the unit using a biological indicator. To do so, simply place the BI into a typical load. When the load is complete, take out the packet and put in a special broth and incubate to see if there's any growth. If there is no growth, it's safe to assume that your load is validated to that cycle recipe and sterilization should occur. Problem number four, the load is wet after the sterilization cycle has ended, even with drying time. This typically happens when autoclave users load porous goods such as cloth and paper close together, which causes them to act like a sponge and retain water. The easiest way to avoid this is to adopt a loading style that spaces out goods, such as a rack or cart and carriage arrangement. Another option is to invest in an autoclave with a vacuum capability, which dries goods at the end of the cycle. The sterilizer simply pulls the vacuum inside the chamber and evaporates any remaining water. Now on to problem number five. A large liquid load causes the sterilization cycle to abort. Large liquid loads take a long time to heat, which can cause sterilization cycles to abort. The best way to sterilize liquids is to space them out in as many small containers as possible. Another way to prevent this problem is to use an F sub zero cycle, which enables the autoclave to count the time that it spends heating up the water towards the total sterilization time. Okay, problem six, no steam in the jacket. The easiest way to prevent this issue is to ensure that the power source for the steam generator is turned on. It's also important to make sure that the steam line feeds into the autoclave correctly and to check the heating elements to make sure they're not damaged or broken. And last but not least, our final problem, number seven excessive amounts of water going down the drain or steam filling up the room. Almost every autoclave has some sort of wastewater cooling valve that opens and closes automatically in order to quench steam going down the drain. The two autoclave problems I just mentioned are caused by this same valve being damaged in some way. Here's what happens. Most autoclaves discharge hot steam effluent to a drain located in the autoclave room. Most autoclaves are equipped with a wastewater cooling sensor. When that sensor detects steam, it adds cold tap water to the drain. If that temperature sensor is broken, or if the valve is broken, it can cause the water to either dump out uncontrollably, which will make the autoclave sound like a running faucet, or it could cause the steam to fill up the room if the valve is stuck closed. Excessive water going down the drain is a clear indication that the valve is broken in the open position. Steam coming out of the drain into the room is a sign that the valve is broken in the closed position. And there you have it, seven common autoclave problems that you should be aware of. If you have any questions, talk to a sterilization specialist at Consolidated Sterilizer Systems today.